Would you like another cigarette, darling? I will light it for you, like this. So you want to know if I ever thought of you before we met? <laughs> Only a woman would conceive a question like that. But the answer is yes. I thought of you in terms of questions. How will she walk? I would ask my star. Like a princess or like a tomboy? Will she be slender? Or will there be too much of her in certain places? Will she be a bad girl? Or an angel? Will she be blonde and light? Like certain wines from the Roman Castelli? Or brunette, moody and ever-changing? Like the sea waves at night? Or will her hair have the color that symbolizes danger? Don't smile. I was so very young. You were every woman. Love without name or face. Having the power of transforming senses into sentiment. Realities into dreams. And in my dreams, I was so respectful and formal. A well-behaved, romantic young man for whom a woman was not Barbara, Virginia, Gloria, or Mary, but my lady, Madame. I would say to you, in dreams I kiss your hand, Madame, your dainty fingertips. And while in slumberland, Madame, I am begging for your lips. Oh, I, I haven't any right, madame, to do the things I do. Just when I hold you tight, madame, you vanish with the night, madame. So, so in dreams I kiss your hand. Madame, and pray my dreams come true. You see, darling, I did not know then how to put my senses into words. Finally, we met. It seemed a lifetime later, but probably was only a dream ago. I informed you with candid exaggeration that long ago and far away, I dreamed a dream one day. And now, now the dream is here beside me. Long the skies were overcast, but now the clouds have passed, you are here at last, chills run up and down my spine, Aladdin's lamb is mine, the dream I dreamed was not denied me, just, just one look, and then I knew that all I longed for long ago was you. When I 
woke up. Was it the next morning or a decade after? The change was abrupt and final. No segueing from one mood to the other. Just a sharp, sudden, dividing cut. Like a wrong card. Or the guillotine. It was as though the luminous ray in my hand holding a star had changed into a string holding a kite. Ideals became fragile and drifted with the winds. How beautifully disappointing was your first nakedness. You came. I was alone. I should have known you were temptation. You smiled, luring me on. My heart was gone. You were temptation. It would be thrilling if you were willing. If it can never be, pity me. For you were born to be kissed. I can't resist. You are temptation, and I am yours. Here is my heart. Take it, and say we'll never part. I'm just a slave, only a slave to you. Temptation. Now you are still temptation. But the slave in me has been sadly emancipated. The adventure of you is risky and dangerous, as always. But my audacity is tempered. I am romantically cautious, reluctant to surrender, admit deep feelings, and fears before you. Does that mean I'm growing older? I try to look at you as an artist would. Tonight, the red rose in your hair is part of you, pure like a halo and proud like a crown. It says, I belong here. Do not disturb me. I look at you, smile. Your lips ajar, beckoning like an enchanted door. And I conclude it would be wrong to disturb the rose in your hair or kiss your smile away. But uh, would it be really wrong? That is the unspoken question a woman always places before a man, leaving him to dare the answer. Were I the boy I was once, probably I would compensate for my lack of savoir-faire by exhuming some 19th century romanticist like Tennyson. Even while I spoke, the bare word kiss has made my inner soul to tremble like a lute string ere the note has melted in the silence that it broke. Were I a sailor on leave or a soldier of fortune, I would quote from closer sources. Very convincingly, I would say, Darling, you must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. And when two lovers woo, they still say, I love you. Oh, on that you can rely. No matter, no matter what the future brings, 
as time goes by. Moonlight and love songs are never out of date. Hearts full of passion, jealousy and hate. Woman needs men and man must have his mate that no one can deny. It's still the same old story, a fight for love and glory, a case of do or die. The world will always welcome lovers as time goes by. But I, I chose to be artistic because I'm afraid of refusal. Nothing tonight will disturb the rose in your hair and the smile on your lips. We shall be comfortable. What is a kiss after all, I say? A promise, a beginning, a goodbye, sometime. Often it's the fleeting brushing of two pairs of lips, beautiful and inconsequential, as in nature is the passing of a summer breeze over a flower. The flower bends ever so briefly, but nothing changes. See, darling, I use the crayon instead of loud, daring colors. But sketching a kiss instead of painting it is like psychoanalyzing a diamond into a piece of charcoal. Shall I pour some more champagne? Yes. The love potion that promises so much and guarantees so little. Effective only when love is not involved. How do I know? <laughs> Because like many another men, I too have been unfaithful to love. Only a very young man can afford faithfulness. Later, the days, the years go by so fast. One just can't let anything pass one by. A perfume, the invitation. A husky hello on the telephone. A girl in the club car drinking alone. Demand investigation. Yet no man is ever really untrue to the woman he loves. Could you believe that? Perhaps in the words of a poet, you will. Please listen. Last night, oh, yesterday night, betwixt her lips and mine there fell thy shadow, Sinara. Thy breath was shed upon my soul between the kisses and the wine. And I was desolate and sick of an old passion. Yea, I was desolate and bowed my head. I have been faithful to thee, Sinara, in my fashion. All night upon my heart I felt a warm heart beat. Night long within mine arms in love and sleep she lay. Surely the kisses of a butt red mouth were sweet. But I was desolate and sick of an old passion when I awoke and found the dawn was gray. I had been faithful to thee, Sinara, in my fashion. I cried for madder music and for stronger wine. But when the feast is finished and the lamps expire, Then falls thy shadow, Sinara. The night 
is thine. And I am desolate and sick of an old passion, yea, hungry for the lips of my desire. I have been faithful to thee, Sinara, in my fashion. <laughs> 